Hello, this is Aaron Filbrin from the Master's Seminary. I'm Director of Student Services, and I have the opportunity today to hear from Jonathan Tucker. Uh, Jonathan Tucker is one of our graduating seniors, and uh, he is with us today, is going to share um, just a testimony of God's faithfulness to, to he and his family in their uh, time here at the Master's Seminary. And so, Jonathan, we're glad to have you here, and uh, I'll go ahead and toss that over to you uh, so we can hear your testimony. Thank you, Aaron. It's, it's really a blessing to be able to share with you guys how God has been faithful throughout this time, how he's shown his grace to my family and me. And I know in the past, I've been, I've been greatly encouraged by senior testimonies that I've heard in times of struggle, in times of disappointment or discouragement. And just hearing those testimonies have been such a help to me. They've been so edifying. And I pray that the Lord would strengthen your faith that you would be encouraged today by hearing what, what God has done in our lives in the last four years. And I would have to start just talking about God's grace um, and my salvation. And I just want to summarize it, but just that God would take a man like me uh, growing up as a missionary kid in Spain and, and just in church and in ministry just ever since I was small and 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 a person really with a heart full of pride, self-righteousness, and sinful desires. And to show me that, to show me my sin and, and just my total inability to reconcile with God and, and to rectify that situation. And, and having seen my sin, just to see the beauty of Christ and his sacrifice and his, his work on the cross just it just amazes me just to, to see that and that repenting of my sin and placing all my trust in Christ, that I would be forgiven of my sin, both past, present, and future, and to be made right with God, to be clothed with the righteousness of Christ. It just, it's just amazing that God would do that. And it's such a such a show of his grace and his goodness. And I'm so thankful for that. But as I look at the last four years here, our time in seminary, there's a verse that just summarizes the way that God has, has shown his grace to us, especially to me. And it's Philippians 1, 6. And it says, and I'm sure of this, that he who began a good work will bring it to completion in the day of Jesus Christ. And just we know that verse, but brothers, that is, there's so much encouragement there. Paul is sure of this, that he who began a good work, a good work, and it is good, even though we don't always see it, even though at times it's, it's hard and there's struggles, it is a good work because he is a good God. And he's showing his grace to us in bringing us along and making us more like Christ. And that's exactly what I want to talk about the grace of God in our seminary experience in making us more like Christ. And especially for me, in these last four years, it's been a combination of several things, several tools that the Lord has used to move me along in that process. And it's the struggles that I have faced, the seminary classes, and the service opportunities that he has, he has given me. So first, just looking at the struggles, we had a a hard transition from Illinois, coming from Illinois out to Los Angeles. Some people, the transition's easy for us. It was, it was hard. We're a fam we were a family of four at that, at that time. And it was hard, not so much because of the circumstances of being out here, but more because of, of my heart, um, unbiblical expectations, a focus on myself, fear of failure. All these things created a time of, of a really severe anxiety for me, a, a hard time. And God was so faithful in that, not only in sustaining me in that time. I mean, I would, I would get nervous just being on campus, being in classes, comparing myself to other students that were much more academic than me, much brighter than me, wondering if I was going to make it. I'm not a real academic guy, and that added a little bit to it. But he not only sustained me through that and got me through that, but uh, he used it to show me the deficiencies in my life and to turn my eyes to Christ. And that's a lesson that has served me so much. And I have to say that God's mercy during this time is seen greatly in, in how he used my wife to encourage me, 
to um, be a source of hope. And I just, I'm so thankful for her and all the work she's done. This has been a hard four years. All of you that have family know it's a, it's a hard time in life, right? But um, she homeschooled two of our kids. We had a, a baby seven months ago and taking care of her. And, and I've just been encouraged and God's grace has been shown to me through my wife. And I'm so thankful, thankful for her. And I'm thankful for my kids, Galilea and Judah, especially the two older ones that came from Illinois. They've been so flexible with all the sacrifices and, and things that you have to do to, to be out here and that they didn't choose. And so I'm so thankful for them and how the Lord has, has worked in them and used them to, to encourage me as well. So not only is the time of struggle has been used by the Lord to, to make us more like Christ, but also the seminary itself, the classes. And each semester, it's like the Lord just had several lessons for me to learn. And he would bring together different, different elements, things that would keep coming up, whether it be in the example of the professors and their godly character, which I'm so thankful for. Thank you, you professors, for, for showing your love for Christ and your love for, for his people, for me especially. Or the content of the classes, even in Greek and Hebrew, the text that we would study, the truths that the Lord would use to, to, to challenge me. Um, the counseling classes with Dr. Street, marriage counseling, advanced counseling, just, just right in his plan, in his timing, the semester would bring out and emphasize certain lessons that I needed to learn. And it's just amazing. And so he used that seminary, those seminary classes and that experience as well, aside from the struggles, the seminary. And the last one, which is maybe uh, the greatest one, the opportunities to minister, to grow and learn that I have been given in my time here. It's, um, it's only by His grace, the opportunities I've had. I could not have chosen these opportunities. And right at the, just at the right time, the Lord would allow me to participate in something that would be a blessing to me, that would get my eyes off of myself and to serving others and just used by him to encourage me and to, and to make me more like Christ. And I have to thank Pastor Bill, Pastor Henry, Pastor Michael for giving me these opportunities, for entrusting me these areas and, and just so many things from being an usher in the Spanish ministry to even teaching the Spanish counseling class for Grace Equip, things that I would never dr dream of. I didn't deserve these opportunities. But they were given to me and have been such a blessing and in interacting. I have to thank the, the Spanish congregation, the relationships that I've been able to develop with people there. And I've been challenged by, by their testimonies and encouraged by them. And I'm just so thankful for that. Um, so God has used all these different aspects of the seminary experience to move me along just little by little in his timing to be more like Christ and move me a little, a few steps ahead in that journey, right? That's a lifetime. It's just the beginning, but it's been so encouraging to, to my heart. And I'm so thankful. My family is so thankful. The lessons that I've learned, even the lesson of, of really buckling down and working hard. I just encourage you guys that are just starting, learn to, learn to work hard so that you can give that time to your family. There's deadlines, there's pressure. And if you don't, if you're not diligent, I, can, I know this by experience, by failure, your studies and your ministry will take up all your time. And you need time with your family. You have to be able to invest in them. They're our first ministry, and, and we all know that, but it's, it's, sometimes it's hard to, to live that out. But I would encourage you in that way. So we're so thankful in our future plans, so you can be praying for us, are to return to Illinois, to continue being prepared for ministry there at, with our sending church, our home church there in Springfield, Illinois, Southern View Chapel. The, the pastor is Gary Gilley, and we're looking forward to continue our preparation there for at least a year while we raise support to go to Mexico and be missionaries, joining Alberto Solano in Guadalajara, Mexico. So we're, we're just so thankful that the Lord is, is taking us in this direction and the time to regroup as a family, to invest in those relationships and really get a good footing. 
And I ask you to pray just once, just one time, if you would pray for my family and I, and just that the Lord would prepare us and use us however he wants. That's our desire. And we are so thankful to have been here at TMS, this whole experience. We couldn't have planned it any better than the Lord did. And it was just as custom designed to help us grow in areas that, that we needed to. So thank you, brothers. I encourage you. Continue. Finish the semester strong. And I have benefited from the relationships with many of you, many friendships that I, that I leave with. And I wish you all the best and we'll be praying for you. The Lord bless you. Jonathan, thank you. What a, what a privilege to hear uh, again, just God's goodness and his grace and his mercy on display through your life. Um, and, and even as you spoke, how he's worked through, through the struggles, through the seminary, through the service opportunities, um, ultimately to shape you and, and your wife and your family for the, the future to come. We'll, we'll be praying, praying for you as you prepare for um, that wonderful ministry opportunity in Mexico and uh, know that uh, you have the prayers of many here at the Master Seminary uh, as you guys go out and, and serve, serve our King wherever he takes you. So thanks again for this opportunity. It was great to, to hear from you and uh, may the Lord receive all glory and honor and praise.